Today we're getting to those upgrades I talked about with the low C LMT from a new body with the roll cage, LCG electronics mounts, and a new wheelie bar. We're gonna try to cover all of that in this video. Let's start with the cage, let's get started. This part's pretty simple, so we're just gonna do a quick time lapse of it. It's just all the parts of the cage to put together. I'm using the original blue cage that came with my truck as a guide because it doesn't come with instructions and should be pretty simple, but just using that as a reference. So we're gonna put this on the side for now. I went ahead and put the driver figure and the interior panel in. We're gonna get to the body last, but for now, let's talk about some of those custom parts. I said I wanted to do a carbon fiber wheelie bar, so that's what we got here. I went ahead and cut out some carbon fiber plates. I went with two on each side since this is only two millimeter carbon. I wanted it to be really strong. If you wanna know how I cut these out, check out one of the old wheelie bar building videos that I made for my drag car. Basically, I rough cut the carbon with an air saw, and then I use a template, in this case, the old wheelie bar sides, to trim them down with a flush trim bit on a router. Pretty sketchy, but it works. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put these together. The first thing I had to do was put a pin that the actual barrel wheel would fit into, and I just cut those off of the original wheelie bar side plates, drilled a hole in them, and now I can run a screw through and use those same exact pins. And now it just goes together like the original wheelie bar. Except for one thing. There was some curves in that plastic of the original, so when I go ahead and put this spacer in with the barrel of the wheelie bar, it's not even, I'm not sure if you can see that on camera there. So I have two little plastic spacers. They just ride on the inside like that. So the barrel slides on. We can actually go ahead and screw on our cross brace now. With that side on, like I said, I wanna make sure to use these little spacers so I have enough room. Everything fits nicely. I can slide the other side on. And the same thing here. And now I have a pretty strong and lightweight wheelie bar that we can install on the truck. This is gonna fit on there no problem. Just slide right over the chassis plates and in position, use this cross brace on the bottom. And we also have to remember now I have the cage. So gotta remember to put the screws in with the cage up top. So that'll all fit together. To get some of that weight down low, I made a couple custom parts, a battery tray and an electronics tray. We're gonna start off with the battery tray. It's a piece of carbon that I cut out, same way as the wheelie bar. Disregard these slotted holes. They did not turn out the way I wanted, but they'll work. We have some 3D printed parts that I'm gonna put on them as well, and then we'll get it mounted in the truck. I'll show you how that fits. So my mount just uses two screws on the side. One goes through this side rail. The other one goes through some mounting points on the back here. And then, like I said, those slotted holes didn't come out the way I wanted them to, but they still work. I'll tighten down on those. And I have a Velcro strap to hold in the battery. I put a stop on the top and the bottom. And both of my batteries that I use for this truck fit perfectly fine. This one slides in here, no problem. Might have to get some shorter straps. And the SMC LiPo hard case fits in as well, nice and snug. You can see we definitely gonna need some shorter straps. This will help get some of that weight further down in the truck instead of the battery sitting way up here. Now onto the ESC. The original electronics tray, as I'm calling it, sat way up high up here on the chassis and the ESC isn't a whole lot of weight, but there's no reason to have it that high. I went ahead and 3D printed myself a plate 
that's gonna hold the ESC and the receiver. We're gonna go ahead and put that together right now and then we'll throw it in the truck. Show you how that all works as well. Kind of fun getting everything in there, but the ESC and the receiver are now in the truck. That tray also bolts through this side rail using two screws on each side. I thought about adding some screws going to the side of the receiver box as well, but just wasn't needed. There's a little flex to it being that it's 3D printed, but that's not really going to see any abuse, so I shouldn't have any issue. Still have full suspension travel. Everything fits in there really nicely, tucked away low in the chassis and once we close everything up really nice and secure now we're ready for the body i know a lot of you guys have seen my process know what i do with these bodies already how i go about painting if you haven't if you're newer to the channel check out some of my older videos i painted up a body for the notorious my drag car or drift car all kind of stuff where you can see exactly what i do here the main reason why i'm covering painting in this video is because this one's a little different I, what i'm going for here is a little challenging based on the way i'm doing my colors obviously i'm doing a joker themed truck huge fan of the joker and i thought this would look pretty cool so i went with the bubble style in the front kind of mimicking the hair that's going to be green we're going to have white in the middle purple in the back all the lettering is going to be red and the way this lettering kind of crosses over my colors is where i'm running into some issues you can see i have some mask on the inside for a little laughing highs and the joker and that's gonna be for me to do the purple so I'm gonna go ahead first off and spray some purple. I'm gonna darken the purple a little bit and add some texture inside of there, some shading, and then come back and spray purple. Pull up all of those masks and spray red so that that lettering will be red. And then we'll move on to the next part. Next up is the red and this is where things get interesting. So pulled off all of those masks for the ha-has everywhere. That's the easy part. The harder part is where all of my Joker decals kind of fall across different colors into the purple into the white and into the green what would have been best was putting these decals on before i put the liquid mask on but i didn't actually have them made at that time so i had to go ahead and cut out my mask lay the stencil in there and kind of tape around the extra part most of it on the sides and the front was just one single color so that was easy this top one was a bit harder because I already had a stencil laid out to be able to mask off the purple. So then I had to lay a separate stencil on top after and line up perfectly. I do that using some clear backing film and a light and laid it on there as best as I could and it came out really well. Like I said, taped up everything and now we're going to go ahead and spray the red. Next up will be the green, which won't be too bad. It's just removing this front mask and removing everything where these bubble style is. There's only one or two sections on the side where it kind of goes into my mask for the lettering. That'll be a little tough because I don't want to pull all of this mask up yet, being that a lot of that's going to be white. So I'm going to cut around that and spray my green and then all there's left there is white. and a little bit of a white backer. After adding a couple of decals, throwing those holes in the body, we're now ready to get it mounted up on the frame. I'm using all of the original hardware from the LMT with that son of a digger body. Let's hope that I got those holes in the right spot. Now that's a sweet new look. This is gonna feel like a whole new truck. I'm pretty happy with how this body came out. I had a couple of little issues here and there. It was a very interesting one to paint, but paint theme came out pretty well. This all started with me wanting to keep these red bead lock rings and I wasn't sure what kind of theme I'd wanna go with. 
Some of the things I thought about were just way too intricate for me to try to do with paint. And I thought about the Joker and felt like this would work pretty well. And it really does. I'm loving the way this fits on this Escalade body. The body fits really well on the truck. It's kind of a little stretched in places it feels. Maybe could come a little lower, but the size of it with height, length, it all fits the truck really well can go back to using those body clips underneath the truck again instead of having body clips sticking out the top and that body pivots up just like before to reveal all of our new low center of gravity parts that custom battery tray carbon fiber as well as the 3d printer electronics mount and of course the last thing in this video that we can't forget that new wheelie bar again custom carbon fiber like I said, y'all know I like to make my own parts. So I know it's been a couple of weeks. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is one of the many projects I've been working on at one time. I have about three or four projects kind of in limbo right now and really happy to get this one done. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the truck. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see this thing out in the dirt bashing. As always, thanks again for watching. Peace.